everybody shout. Lord Jesus. Choir singing. Yes, Lord. Preachers preaching. Yes, sir. Deacons, deacons. Yes, Lord. Missionary, missionary. Yes, sir. But you don't hear nobody said I've said. But in the book of James, James looked over in the church yes, Lord. and he said, Cleanse your hands, you sinners. Yes. yes. Those people with some sinners in there. Yes, Purify your heart. Yes, yes, you double mind. Lord have mercy. Because we got all of us yeah. right in the midst of it. Yes, people are smiling in your face. Yes, Talk about you behind your back. Yes, yes, Don't you know you need to be saved? Yes, right. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Double mind. Check out who is not saved. That's right. But we need to examine our own oh, yeah. 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 We need to work on our own yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. David, they cried out. Amen. Someone give me the 51st Psalm, please. And then the visitors don't have a Bible. See that they get one. <coughs> Praise God. Thank so they can read along with it. Amen. The 51st Psalm. Verse 10, what is that? <coughs> Created me a clean heart. Amen. Now, this man recognized his heart wasn't clean. That let us know you and I know whether our heart are clean. Now, you know when he began to realize it? When the prophet pointed out to him that he wasn't right. All right, then. Well, Amen. Praise him. When the prophet got through talking to him, mm -hmm. he found out that God knew he wasn't right. Yes. yes, sir. And he began to realize why he did what he did. Because yes. his heart wasn't right. Yes. Yes. Praise, him. Praise him. If your heart is right, you will do right things. Yes. If your heart not right, you will do wrong things. Yes. Yes. You can't help yourself can't help. until you get your heart right. Yes. Y'all yes. pray for me today. Yes. There's a lot of people doing wrong, don't want to do wrong. Yes. But they can't help themselves. Because yes. the heart is not right. Amen. When the devil's controlling your heart, you do what the devil wants you to do. Yes. Yes. Praise him. Yes. I don't care if you claim to have been baptized in Jesus' name and received the Holy Ghost and amen, told me living right, but if you let the devil rule on you, your heart will not be right. Yes. Now this man here is a man after God's own heart. God called him, God chose him, God anointed him to be king of Israel. Yes. But his heart wasn't right. Amen, the thing that he did took another man's wife Went into it and had a child by Had the woman husband killed. Yeah. Because her heart wasn't right. Was yeah. right. But when he found out that praise God and God knew what he had done and he wanted to get it right with God, amen. He cried out, have mercy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But me, oh God. Somebody need to cry to have mercy, dude. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have mercy yes, on me. Have mercy. Yes, Upon me, oh God. Yes, sir. God into the mouth of two. Yes. Of your tender mercy, yes. blot out, erase yes, sir. my transgression. Glory. Yes. Yes. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Quite knowledge. Praise God. Praise the Lord. All right. Create in me a clean heart. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And do whatever. And renew a right spirit. And renew a right spirit within, within me. me. Within me. Yes, sir. Read, uh huh. Cast me not away from thy presence. All right. And take not thy Holy Spirit from take me. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. The joy. Oh God. I wouldn't do I have any honest saint in here today. Glory. That will confess that my joy is not like it used to be. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Woo. Glory. I'm gonna take my time. <laughs> Praise him. We need to be honest with ourselves. Yes. We don't feel the anointing. Oh God. I'm dealing with the saints now. Yes. Yes. Let me use it. We don't feel it like we used to. That's when we can't be no lighter than what we are. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We don't feel nothing. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Just like when my kidneys went out on me, somebody said, do you feel any pain? No. Lord Jesus. Anything that dead don't feel anything. Lord. Amen. Praise the Praise Lord. Lord. The joy of the Lord, sons, yes. is our strength. Yes. Yes. And Praise this Lord. joy is not just only when you come to church. No, sir. Amen. Amen. Y'all can help me go. This joy is in your living room. Yeah. This joy is in your bedroom. Yeah. This joy is when you ride along. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't need nobody to call with you. No. And you don't need no radio. No. You don't need nobody singing to you. No, Just think of the goodness of Jesus. Yes. And you're all done for it. Oh, and the joy will come on. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Let me tell you something else. It's no put on. It comes on. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Yes, it does. My God, you can be aching in your body. Yes, sir. That don't stop the joy. No, that don't stop you from praising God. No, that don't stop you from thanking God. No, Even thank God for the pain. Yes. Thank God for the misery. Yes. Hallelujah. I always thank God I can feel it. Because yes. yes. somebody got a pain and can't feel it. Yes. Because you're unconscious. Yes. How many of y'all glad you're conscious to be? Yes. Hallelujah. Where the spirit of the Lord is. Yes, sir. There's living. There's living. Amen. There's freedom. Freedom. Let's say praise God. Praise God. Let's say hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 I, I, amen. I, wanna, I, I might get back to that, but I want to leave that alone right now. Amen. I want second chapter of Acts. Verse 37. Go to 37 verse. Now when they heard this, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. They were pricked in their heart. And yeah. said unto Peter, and said unto Peter, and to the rest of the apostles, and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, men and brethren, what shall we do? We don't know what to do. Yeah. Well, and this is why the devil wants you to be cold so you can't tell nobody what to do. Yeah. This is why he don't want you to stay on fire. He don't want you to stay alive. Right. So you won't be able to tell nobody what to do. Amen. Everybody who has received the Spirit of God ought to be able to witness to someone. Amen. 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 Tell them about the salvation. Yeah. Yeah. Praise him. Praise the Lord. But you can't tell no one something when they look on you and they almost living better than you. Yeah. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Praise Amen. Him. You got to be real All right. Amen. to be a witness for the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Praise Amen. him. Is there a time that the people of God need to be real, genuine, and sincere? And now. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Be real in what you do. Yeah. Be real in your lifestyle. Yeah. Be real in your walk. Be real in your talk. Yes, I had the mother back there said, pray for me oh. for the deliverance of my soul. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. got to pray. Amen. Yeah. Praise him. Glory to God. Praise God. There's a lot of people, praise God, who want to be delivered. Yes. Yeah. And there's a lot of people who have relatives, they won't deliver. Amen. Then if anybody ought to be able to pray the prayer of deliverance, ought to be the ones that are saved. Yes. Yes. Praise, yeah. Praise the Lord. Y'all can help me if you want. Yes. Souls are crying out. Yes. Pray for the deliverance of my soul. Yes. Yes. I believe that's the reason why this family, that brother William and witness to, is here today so they can hear how to be delivered. Yes. Yes. Come on, sir. Yes. Wake up on here today. Pray for the deliverance. Yes, sir. Pray for the deliverance. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. We got folks that have testified say need to be delivered. Amen. Amen. The demons is having a field day now. Amen. In the lives of those that claim to be saved. Amen. Y'all can help me if you want. Praise the Lord. I'm 
get saved they got to hear the word the word must be preached and that word that is preached prick their heart touch them convict them that they need to make a change huh this is what happened on the day of Pentecost but before the apostles could preach to us, they had to go to Jerusalem. Amen. What does it say, brother? And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name, in his name among all nations. Among all nations. Beginning, at Jerusalem. beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things. Ye are witnesses of these things. Yes. And behold, I send the promise upon you. Behold, I'm going to send the promise upon you. But Read. Tarry. But tarry. In the city of Jerusalem. Until he be endowed. Until he be endowed. With power from With high. power. Where it coming from? On high. On high. Yes, sir. Not no earthly power. No. The power that come by God. Yes. From God and by God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But you go to Jerusalem. Jerusalem. And you wait there. Yes. Until you be endowed with power. And this is what they did. They went to Jerusalem. And they stayed there until the Holy Ghost came. Yes, and when the Holy Ghost came, Peter was able to stand up and preach the word of God. Yes, he did. And when he got through preaching, or while he was preaching, the word pricked somebody's heart. Yes, sir. And they cried out, men and brethren, yes. what shall we do? Shall we do? Amen. Huh? Let's say praise God. praise God. If the preacher can't tell you what to do, he's the wrong preacher. Yeah. Praise God. Praise the Even a layman that filled with the Holy Ghost ought to be able to tell you what to do. Yeah. Don't have to be a preacher. Oh, Don't have to be an evangelist. Oh, Don't have to be a prophet. Oh, the filled with the Spirit of God yeah. and living God's life yeah. can tell you what you ought to do. Yeah. You see how important say it is for you to live holy. Come on with me. Hallelujah. Can't you see why the devil don't want you to live holy? He don't want you to open your mouth and the truth come out. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
So what I brought this in to show you, before the apostles could go preaching the word of God, they had to get the Holy Ghost. Yes. And before any preacher can preach you salvation, he must have the Holy Ghost. Yes. Y'all watch these preachers that tell you all you got to do is believe in your heart and you're saved. You got to believe all right. But it's not that simple. You got to believe the Lord Jesus. And after you believe, you got to repent. Re why, why is it necessary? Y'all hear me real good. Why is it necessary, Bishop, for me to repent? Because you sin. You was a sinner. You were committing sin. You may be committing adultery. You may be living in adultery. Yeah. You may be committing fornication. Yeah. You may be a thief or a robber. Right. But you need to repent of that stuff. And when you repent, it means turn from your sins. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And when a person repent, mm -hmm. then he or she is a candidate for the water. Nobody got no business being baptized who haven't repented. Yeah. Have made up in their mind, I'm tired of this life I'm living. I want to make a change. Yeah. That's the reason why when you go down in water and come up out of the water, you rise to walk in newness of life. Not in the old way. A new life now. Sometime if you're really genuine, you receive it before you get in the water. Sometime in the water. Sometime coming up out of the water. Sometime sitting out in the pure. Sometime testifying. Doing the praise service. When your heart get it right, God will fill you with the Holy Ghost. Speaking in tongues. As the Spirit of God give us, the whole world need the Holy Ghost. Ain't no such thing. I'm going to open the doors of the church today. You give me your hand and guard your heart. You don't need to open the church the door today. The church door was open on the, 20th, on, the on, on the day of Pentecost. Yes. And it's still open. Yes, sir. But I want you to know you better hurt and get in because the church door is just about to close. Yes. And once the church door closed, then no, you can't get in here. All right. All right. All right. Praise, the Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise on the day of Pentecost, when Peter preached, praise God, the people cried out, men and brethren, what then shall we do? Yes, sir. Your word convicted us. Uh -huh. It condemned us. Yes. And we see if we don't make a change, we're going to be lost. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We don't know what to do. But say, men and brothers, that's me, to all the apostles, uh -huh. That were there, what must we do? Yes, sir. What must we do? And the chief apostle, which was Peter, yes, sir. what did he say? Said unto them, he said unto them, Repent, repent and, be baptized, and be baptized, every one of you, every one of you for, the of for the removing of your sin. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. You got to be baptized in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Praise God. Maybe a lot of, maybe some of y'all in here were like I was when I first called myself in the church. All right now. I was a Baptist. All right. And they baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Talk about this. And there's no such baptism in the Bible. Talk about this. Oh, glory to God. I guess I better hedge you off. Matthew, what? 28, 28 19. Some of y'all want to go there. All right, man. That preacher lied. Uh -huh. yes. 28, 19, what does it say? Go ye therefore. Go ye therefore. And teach all nations. Teach all nations. Baptizing them. Baptizing them. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy 
And as the Holy Ghost, see, preacher, you, you lie. Help me, Jesus. You're going to have to prove I lie. Uh-huh. Let's say praise God. Praise God. Go back to that. Uh-huh. Baptizing them in what? Yeah. Spell that name. Yeah. Is there an S there? No, sir. If it was a father and a son and the Holy Ghost, it's supposed to be in the names. Yeah. My Lord. Huh? Yeah. But in the name yes, sir. of the Father. Of the Son, yes. of the Holy Ghost. Yes. What is the Father's name? Jesus. What is the Son's name? Jesus. What is the Holy Ghost's name? Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise Glory to God. Amen. Three and manifested God in creation, yes. Son in redemption, All right. Holy Ghost in the church, yes, sir. and His name is Jesus. Jesus. Matthew 1 21 she shall bring forth a son and thou shall call his name what? Jesus. Jesus. Alright someone give me Isaiah 7 14 Amen 9 and 6 Come on 7 14 Praise the Lord 7 14? Yeah Therefore the Lord himself The Lord himself shall give you a sign shall give you a sign Behold a virgin shall conceive Behold a virgin. Who is that virgin? I told you all can help me tonight. That virgin is Mary. And she going to conceive. Going to. Not yet, but she going to. Did she just conceive? All right, what does it say? And bear a son. What you going to call his name? Emmanuel. All right. Praise God. And then and you'll find over there in Matthew, Emmanuel means God with, with us. us. Yes, sir. Amen. God with us. Yes, sir. Amen. And still talking about Jesus. Yes. I just, it's six chapter, ninth chapter, and sixth verse. Amen. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a what? A child is born. Are y'all reading with me? Yes. A child is born. To us a, son is given. a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. Upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called. His name shall be called. Wonderful. Wonderful. Counselor. Counselor. Mighty God. My God, talking about that son. Yes, sir. Yes, Hallelujah. Talking about that son. son. Yes, sir. Shall be called the mighty God. Yes. The everlasting father. Now, look, not only the mighty God. But he is the everlasting father. And the prince of peace. And, prince of peace. Yes. and that ain't nobody but who? Jesus. What's his name? Yes, sir. Praise him. Yes, sir. Oh, what a wonderful thought. Glory. Praise the Lord. So you got to do everything in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Hebrew 4. Praise God. And twelve. Well, There's no other name given. Under heaven. Acts 4 and 12. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. It says, Neither is there salvation in now, any other. Now, neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name. There's none other name. Under heaven. Under the heaven. Given among men. Given among men. Whereby we must be saved. We must be saved. Now, what name is that? Jesus. Y'all know that? Amen. Now, if you call on any other name, you ain't gonna get that. No. There's salvation in the name of Jesus. Yes, There's healing in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. There's deliverance in the name of Jesus. Yes, Whosoever shall call the upon the name of the Lord yes, shall be saved. Yes. Amen. Thank God for the name. Amen. St. John 1 and 1. Praise God. I'm going to I'm gonna let you go to rest. I just want to try to bear the thing out. So young, amen, try to erase three gods out your mind because there ain't never been but one. And someone give me Matthew 11, praise God, and 27. St. John 1 and 1, what's that? In the beginning was the word. In the beginning was the word. And the word. And the word. Was with God. The word was where? Was with God. The word was where? With God. And what else? And the word was God. 
All right. With and was. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. I don't believe y'all going to help me out the way. Yes. What, with and was. Yes. In the beginning was the word. Yes, sir. And the word yes, was, was, was with what? With God. With God. Yes, sir. And what else? And the word was God. And the word was God. Yes, sir. Come on, what else? The same was in the beginning with God. All right. All things were made by him. All right. Without him, Without him was not anything, not anything made that was made. That was made. In, him was life. In him was life. And the life was the light of man. How the light of man. Come on to the 12th verse. What is that? But as many as received him, uh -huh. to them gave he power All right. to become the sons of God. You see, he came among his own. Wow. And the own received him not. Amen. But as many that did receive him. And the same whole good today. Yes. As many of you out there that will receive him. Yes. He'll give you power to become the sons of God. Yes. Read, right, read on down to the 14th verse. Even to them that believe on his name. Even to them that believe. How you got to believe? On his name. How you got to believe? On his name. On his name. Yes, sir. Come on, what is that? Which were born not of blood. He wasn't born of flesh. Not of the will of man. Read. And the word was made flesh. In the beginning was the word. The word. That was, was Amen. Which was in the beginning. Praise God. Was made flesh. And dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. And we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. As the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and truth. Full of grace and truth. When you look on Jesus Christ, or when you read about Jesus Christ, you read about that, amen, praise God, that was begotten by the Father. Praise him. And he is the express image of the Father. Praise God, amen, amen, he's God in the flesh. The only way he could deal with mankind, he had to take on human flesh. He had to get the feelings of humans. So he could deal with us. And the Bible says in all points. He was tempted as you and I. Yet without sin. Praise our God. Proven in the flesh. Giving you and I hope. That praise God even in our flesh. We don't have to sin. And we get Christ in our flesh. He will keep us from sinning. The only thing that caused you to sin when Christ have not taken control of your flesh. Paul said, I reached up, got hold of my flesh, bring it under subjection. We come from Ashanda with the power of the Holy Ghost. You can make your flesh behave. You are having the witnesses here. to commit adultery. You don't have to fornicate. You don't have to do wrong. Just get the power of God. No demons got no business resting in you. But if you give in to it, it will. And until it casts out, you're going to always have problems. Amen. It's an off and on thing. Sometimes you're just as pleasant. Yes. And then when he want to act up, you act up. Yes. You all hear me say many times when a demon has possessed a person, their very conscience changes. They get a different look on the face. But when that devil's not acting up, the conscience brightens up. But you don't need that type of thing. You need something that stay the same all the time. 
And that's God Almighty. That's why you need the Holy Ghost children. Because you can't do it on your own. You can't do it by yourself. You need Jesus in your life. Yeah, Jesus, without me, you can't do nothing. Oh, before I get off here, I want Matthew 11, 27, what it say? Uh -huh. All things are delivered unto me of All my Father. All things are delivered unto me of the Father. And no man knoweth the Son. No man knoweth the Son. But the Father. But the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father. No any man the Father. Save the Son. Save the Son. And he, whomsoever. Whomsoever. You got to be revealed to you. You can't read up on it. You can't study it. And find out who he is. And please don't try to find out you don't have no Holy Ghost. Because you ain't got nothing to help you. Hey Amen. It got to be revealed. And it must be done through the Spirit. That Holy Ghost Spirit. That is in you revealed to you. Who the Father is. When you get anointed with the Spirit, you have no trouble by knowing who God is. You soon find out uh, there's only one Lord and one faith and one baptism. You know, I have no problem. Uh, uh, the devil can't fool you no more. Uh, the Bible said the devil knows uh, there's only one God. Yes, he does. And he trembles at it. Even the demons know who God is. The demon possessed man that was always up among the tombs, cutting and hollering at it. But when he met Jesus, he said, I know who you are. You the Holy One. I wonder today, do you know who he is? I do you by God that you torment me not before the end of time. I know I'm condemned. I know I'm going to the lake, but I don't want to go before time. Yeah! Jesus said, come out of Since we need to pray so we can tell some of these to come out. Are y'all with me? Come out! Come out! Come out! We ought to be so concerned about one another. So we don't want to see no demon wrestling in one another. Come out from among them. Come out of them. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah to God. Amen. And he had to come out. He had to come out. Couldn't stay there no longer. But he pleaded with Jesus. He said, don't send us away. Did let, let, let me know that they didn't know all God had to do is tell them to vanish. Yes. And they would have to go. Yes. Please don't send us away. Jesus. We got to get in something. Since we can't stay in this man, let us go into the hall. My God, my God. Amen. The hall was feeding peaceable. Minding their own business. Since when the devil get in you, you change. Yes, sir. You change. Yes, sir. Man's are being torn up because the devil got in there. Yes. Before the devil got in there, you have that peace. Yes, have peace in your home. Yes, you and your wife get along real good. Yes. But when the devil got in there, yes. all hell broke out. Yes, sir. And it wasn't because of God, Deacon Moore. Yes, man. Because that demon got it. Yes, sir. A lot of y'all would be with your spouse today yeah. if the devil hadn't got in there. Yeah. My God. The devil breaks up everything. Yes, he does. God made Adam and Eve holy. Yeah. But when the devil got in, he made him unholy. Yeah. That's right. Now, I don't care how much joy you have. Yeah. How much holy gold you have. Yeah. But if the devil ever get in you, yeah. forget about crying holy. Wow. Wow. I hope he ain't setting up in some of y'all today. I don't know what kind of condition y'all was in before you left home. 
I don't know what kind of words went on between husband and wife. Amen. Amen. But I'm here to tell you today, yeah. you can't make it in the kingdom of God yeah. with all this stuff in you. Yeah. Husband and wife having words before they go to sleep. Yeah. And they got nerve enough to lay down and go to sleep yeah. before they get something straight. Yeah. Yeah. So, dog, they don't know where they're going to wake up in the morning. My God. Yes. Because people are waking up dead. Yeah. I mean, somebody waking up and somebody's dead. Yeah. Jesus. Fell asleep while they were sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Saints and devil is out to get up. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. But let me hear you say, say it up. Say it up. Glory to God. Hallelujah to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. What must we do to be saved? Read a little bit more of that uh, left chapter. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come unto me. Come unto me. All ye that labor. Oh, man. God wants you to come, children. Yes. Right. Yeah. Y'all that don't have the Holy Ghost. And if you're tired of the life that you're living, mm -hmm. he is saying, come unto me. Oh, right. This is a universal invitation. Yes, sir. That is extended to the whole world. Amen. Come unto me. All, all you that are laboring. And are heavy laden. And, and I will give you rest. Amen. I, amen. I don't want nobody to feel I'm picking on it. But I'm telling you the gospel truth, sir. Yeah. There ain't but one way to God. Yes. One way. Amen. One Lord. Yes, sir. One faith. One, faith. one baptism. Yes. One church. Yes. Not churches. Yes, he said, Upon this rock, yes. I'm, I will build my church, my church yes. and the gates of hell yes. shall not prevail against it. Yes. Hallelujah. You find this in the 16th chapter of Matthew, round verse 18. Upon this rock, I will, yes. and will mean, I will mean a future. I'm going to build my church. They were having church then. They was calling self religious. Amen. Righteous. But he didn't use that church. He said, I'm going to build my church. Amen. He didn't become a part of that church. I'm going to build my church. Even for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Let the church say amen. Amen. He came to the world to save sinners. I got to have a church. I got to have a church to put them in upon this rock. Woo! I'm going to build my church. Yes, I am. Gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That's what he did on the day of Pentecost. That uh, amen, 120 were there. Amen, along women included. The mother of Jesus, she was in there. The one that brought Jesus into the world was up there. You read the 14th verse of the first chapter of Acts. She was there along with other women. Now what Mary doing there? She was clean enough for God to use her womb to bring the son Jesus into the world. Praise him. That was in her womb. Yes. But Mary needs something in her soul. Yes. That was the Holy Ghost. Yes. Every born again believer must experience the Holy Ghost. Yes. Speaking in tongue. Yes. As the Spirit of God giver. Yes. If you don't have it this way. You don't have the Holy Ghost. Let's say praise God. So I want you all to know, amen, there's only one way to be baptized. That's in water. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For the remission of your sins. For the removing of your sins. 
Father, Son, and Holy Ghost won't do it. Hey Amen. I got to go back to Luke 10, 16. Thank the Lord. Who got to read for me first? 10, 16. What is that? All right. Who's talking here? Jesus. They tell me that red writing Jesus talking. Since you won't bleed the black writing, let's see what the red writing is saying. He that hears you. Give me 17 chapter of St. John. He that hears you. Hear me. He that despise you. Despise me. Now look. They had to hear Somebody. the apostles. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Because it was he, they, the apostle was sent by him yes. to preach this word. Yes. Instant, in season, and out of season. Amen. Thank the Lord. I am sent to preach the apostles' doctrine. Yes. God forbid that I preach a doctrine of my own. Every Holy Ghost filled preacher got to preach the original. What was laid down by the apostles. Huh? And Peter said, if though we are an angel, come from heaven, preaching any other thing, then what we have preached, let it be, be occurred. Don't accept it. Amen. Anything come from heaven look like it ought to be acceptable. Yes. But if you come preaching something different, say, from what the apostles preach, don't accept it. Amen. Praise God. St. John 17, 17. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Sanctify them through thy truth. Sanctify them through thy truth. Through thy truth. Thy word is true. Thy word is true. Amen. As thou hast sent me into the world. Have you sent me into the world? Even so have I also sent them into I, the I've world. I've sent them into the world. Yes, now, praise God. Keep on up to read the 20th verse. Neither pray I for these alone. Neither pray I for these apostles alone. But for them also. For them also. We shall believe on me. This is you and I. That's right. We got to believe on Jesus Christ through the words of the apostles. That's this. The apostles' doctrine. We got to believe on Jesus the way they taught him. Don't let nobody fool you talking about that's for old time. That back there in the 50s. Let me tell you this thing. This thing started around about AD 32 or 33, somewhere along there. I'm talking about this church that we represent. Yes. And my God is going to stand until yes. Jesus come back for the church. Amen. And what is preached on the day of Pentecost yes. got to be accepted yes. until he come back. Yes. Praise him. Amen. I'm not worried about all this new stuff people preaching. Salvation is not for the day. That was old time. Tongues is not for the day. Baptism is not for the day. The Jews was told to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Huh? Yes. The Gentile was told to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, sir. Huh? Amen. The eunuch was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, he was. The Ethiopian. Yes. Some, most, some people say that's a white man religion. Uh -huh. My God, the apostle preached to that black man. Yes. Huh? Yes, he did. This thing is for the Jews, yeah. for the Gentiles, yeah. for the Negroes, yeah. and all other nations. Got to believe the same thing. Amen. Let's say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's say hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. 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 What is, did you read all that, bro? Glory. Mm -hmm. Thank the Lord. So you see, you got to come this way. Yes, sir. Right. Praise God. Quentin, you read all what you read. Praise God. 
Amen. All right. Since y'all don't know that. Repent. And be baptized. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, the, Jesus said, I pray not for these alone, but for all those who should believe on me through their words. So we got to believe on it through the words of the apostle. Praise God. And then that's, that's the only way we can be saved. Listen to me, children. Listen to me. Amen. Praise God. Don't watch. I, I don't care what kind of faith you call yourself. You can call yourself Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Amen, Muslim, Muslim, Jehovah Witness, Catholic, whatever you want. But I know one thing. You better repent of your sins. Hallelujah. And you better be baptized in Jesus' name. And you better receive the Holy Ghost. Speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God give us. I don't care what kind of degree you have, what position you hold in your church, but you need to get a degree in Jesus Christ. Let's say praise God. I'm not knocking education and degrees. Amen, but don't get hung up on your degrees. Because your degrees won't save you. It could call for some repentance to get yes, saved. Yes, Believe in the word of God. Yes, Praise God. Yes, I tell you, Holy Ghost and degrees make you a great person. Yes, Agrees without the Holy Ghost. Praise God. You're not so great. Amen. Praise him. Praise God wants you to, praise God, exceed in education. Yes. You need to get more education. Yes. Some of y'all, see now, you dropped out of school too quick. Didn't even finish high school. Yeah. Now you can't even get a decent job. Because yeah. the devil tricked you out of that. Yeah. Amen. And you're young enough to go back and get to complete your education. And you won't even do it. So that means you don't care whether you make it in life or not. But I declare, don't let the devil cheat you out the Holy Ghost. Yeah. 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 You are all messed up. When you ought to be making money. Yeah. yeah. Praise the Lord. Huh? Praise the Lord. You don't have to work for that little thing you're working for. Amen. Yeah, Amen. Stand up. Come on. Praise the Lord. That's right. Yeah. Prepare yourself. Yeah. Right. To even get the Holy Ghost, you got to make preparation. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You ought to make a decent living in this life. You got to make preparation for it. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody gives you nothing. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, Amen. Y'all children in school don't play. That's right. Get your education. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Praise, Praise the Lord. What's wrong with that boy that's laying there? Lee? You tired? Sit back on your seat. Praise you. Yeah. Get your education. That's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. I know some of y'all that is qualified as being the nine seven job because you're overqualified. That's right. Look at the millions that they can't even qualify. That's true. My Lord, I don't. Because you got to live while you're here. Yes. That's, right. Amen. That's right. And it takes money now to raise a family. Yes. Yes. Take money to even get married. Yes. Yes. And please don't have a baby. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. And like back there in my day, if I oh. thought it was going to cut mine, cost me $150 to be delivered. That was a whole lot. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes, sir. That was a whole lot for me. Yes, sir. Yeah. Amen. Uh, really, praise God, cost you more than that by care to even get to the clinic. That's what's Jesus. That's right. Amen. Tell the truth. Prepare yourself. Yeah. Make preparation. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm about finished, but I want to show you also. Amen. Turn to Second Ten, Second Kings. Second Kings, third chapter. 
I want you to get at the uh, 15th verse. But now bring me a minstrel. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Read the verse, verse of above that. Amen. The 14th verse. And Elijah said, uh -huh. As the Lord of, of hosts liveth, As the Lord of hosts liveth, Before whom I stand, Before whom I stand, Surely, Surely, Were it not that I regard the presence of Jehoshaphat, mm -hmm. the king of Judah, mm -hmm. I would not look towards thee, Now that's bad. That's bad. Amen. Amen. Glory. If it wasn't for Jehoshaphat, That's right. he said, I wouldn't even look towards you. Yes, the only reason I'm looking because this righteous man yes. yeah. is here in the midst. Yeah. It's bad when a saint supposed to be a child of God. Uh -huh. People don't have no confidence in you. Yes. No respect for your word. They don't believe nothing you say. Yes. That's bad. Yes. That's sad, sad, sad. Yes, yeah. huh? uh huh? The only way that he would kind of take a little time with her because of Jehoshaphat. Yes. Yeah. If you read this story a little bit, Amen. Praise God from the first one down here. You'll find out, praise God, they got to a point where Jehoshaphat asked, Is there a prophet of the Lord here? Yes. Yes. We want to hear from the Lord. Praise Him. And they told him about the man of God, Elijah. And read that again, brother. And Elijah said, As Elijah said, as the Lord of hosts liveth, yeah. whom I stand, whom I stand surely, surely, were it not that I regard the presence of Jehoshaphat, if I didn't have no respect for this man, the king of Judah, the king of Judah I would not look towards you. I him, wouldn't even look towards you. Nor see thee. Nor see thee. Don't you know, praise God, if it wasn't for the prayers of some of the righteous, yeah, some of our family members, that's right. Friend would be cut down. Yes, yes, yes sir. Amen. God have respect to your prayer. Yes. Yeah. Not because the children are so righteous. No, yes. no. Amen. Because the righteous is crying out. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Oh, it's good to live righteous. Amen. Amen. The right prayers of a righteous man are fair as much. Yeah. yeah. Carries much weight. Amen. Amen. Come on, morning women. Glory. Yeah. Come on, we need some women to cut the foolishness out. Uh -huh. yeah. We need some women to cut the junk out. Yeah. To start mourning to the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Crying out yeah. day and night. Yeah. Don't have to be asked to cry, yeah. but they're going to cry anyhow. Yeah. Yeah. Because they see the condition. That's right. Yes, sir. That's right. Right. Look at Sister Hannah. Saw the condition. Yes. Yeah. She just stopped crying out of God. Yes, sir. I don't need nobody my Lord, my God. to point it out to me. Jesus. I see it with my own eyes. Yes, yes, sir. The house of God going down. Yes. yes. I'm with the sons of Eli. Yes. Amen. Amen. Standing in the priest's office. Yes. Not doing their job. Not doing their job. Hallelujah. Yes. Taking the women of the sanctuary, yeah. uh -huh. committing adultery with them, yeah. committing fornication, yes, sir. Yeah. and the old man ain't saying no. nothing, yeah. 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 not doing nothing about yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Too much sin yeah. Yeah. is getting by today. Yeah. Yeah. But I want you to know, yeah. God got eyes God. in every place. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Well, Lord, 
Help, Lord. Help, Lord. Come on, morning women. Can I get y'all to do some moaning? I shouldn't have to tell you what to moan. You ought to be able to look and see the condition. And just start moan. I want you to move. Move, Lord. Move, Lord. Come on, morning women. Call your cunning ones. So let's get together here now. Let's pray. Let's move. Let's moan. the voice of God. He thought Eli was calling him. Yeah. Knowing no better, he went to him. Yes. Told him to go back and lay down. Yeah. Second time he went back, said go back and lay down. Yeah. But now I tell you, when you hear the voice again, Amen. say speak Lord. Yes. Thy servant here. Yeah. The child didn't know what to say. But the man of God told him. Yeah. I don't want y'all to use this scripture to tell somebody to speak in tongue. No, sir. No, it won't work. It won't work in the church of God. You can't tell nobody how to speak in tongue. You can't tell them what to say. Speak, Lord, for your servant here. Yeah. God came the third time. Eli, Eli uh, Samuel did like the father Eli said yeah. and praise God and God talked to him yes, but the message that he gave him he kind of troubled his heart yeah. cause it was a message <laughs> that kept to the old man yeah. 
the one that told him to speak, Lord. Here's a message for him. He didn't want to tell it. <laughs> Have y'all been like this sometime? <laughs> God told you what to say, <laughs> but you didn't want to tell it <laughs> because of who it was. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you today, <laughs> if God says speak, <laughs> you better speak. <laughs> Let the church say amen. Elon <laughs> know <laughs> that they, God was dealing with him. <laughs> he told him to tell me <laughs> what the Lord said. <laughs> He finally persuaded him and he gave him the message. You only way you're gonna relieve yourself. You got to get rid of the message. Come on, children. Let's pray a little while. In the name of Jesus. Well, children. You got to make preparation. You make the preparation. It's a whole lot I can say on that. Yeah. And blessing will come yes, it after you make the preparation. Yes. Oh, St. John 11 and 39. Glory. Thank the Lord. Lazarus was dead. Jesus said. Amen. Just a minute. Lazarus was dead. Yes. Jesus was a warn before he died that he was sick. Jesus abode where he was, stayed there for a while, a few days. Then when he knew Lazarus had passed, he said, Lazarus is sick. And we are going to. And they want to know, praise God. Amen. And he said, I'm glad that for your sake, yes. this sickness yes, sir. is not under death. Yes. Praise him. Uh -huh. But this sickness, amen, glory. is for the glory of God. Sometimes the sickness and the, the things that come upon us, God just want to get some glory. Praise the Lord. Amen. All sickness is not inflated by the devil. Not at all. I say to my Lord. He has this share too. Amen. But when God wants some glory, Sister Anna, see me put it on you. Because yes, I know if I put it on Anna, I'm going to be able to be glorified. Because yes. you won't let me down. Yes. Praise him. Praise the Lord. And he later told the disciple that he's dead. Yeah. Amen. Praise him. And I'm glad for your sake that I wasn't there. Somebody would think that Jesus was just dragging his feet. All right, all right. Just delaying. He could have hurried and went on there. But Jesus, as we tried to tell you earlier, was God. Yeah. In the flesh. He didn't have to hurry. Because whenever he got there, he could take care of business. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise the Lord. And Lazarus died. Yes. Praise him. Praise the Lord. And he had been dead for long days. Yes, That's right. Jesus made sure yes. of this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> because the old Orthodox Jews, mm -hmm. they had a saying that the spirit, when a when person so leave the body, one is around on the earth for about three days. There's a chance of returning back to the body. But the fourth day, modification begin to set in. That means your body begin to go back to the earth where it came from. So he begin to become 
decomposed. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus. Mistaken. Yeah. Uh -huh. Jesus, Martha heard that Jesus was on the way and she went around and said, Lord, if you had a been here, yes. my brother wouldn't have died. Jesus said, you shall see your brother again. Yes. I know, Lord, in the last day, the day of the resurrection. Martha, I'm your friend. Yes. I ate at your house. Yes. I rest at you. Yes. Yeah. I slept at you. Yes. Yeah. But you don't know who I am. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, Some of us testifying about Jesus. Yeah. Talking about how great he is. Yes. But we don't know who he is. Yeah. We don't know the power that he has. Yeah. Yeah. Mark, I want to let you know, sir. Yes. I am yes, I. the resurrection. Yeah. I am the life. Yes. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live again. Y'all want to live again? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Come on and get saved. What you waiting on? What you waiting for? Did you hear the song say, when I'm going the last mile of my way? Some of y'all have me repent you. You need to do it today. We don't need to close the service out. Praise God, you need to prolong it at the altar. Calling on the Lord. And you that is half stepping, you need to come up here. You that got slack on the way, you need to come up here. Are you that line and backsliding in your spirit? You need to confess and come on up and get yourself straight now. The day. Because you ain't fooling nobody but yourself. Let's say praise God. I don't care what you're trying to hide. It's already known. Yes, sir. Maybe it hasn't been revealed to some of the people yet, but it's already known. So you haven't got away, honey. You haven't got away, daughter. You haven't got away, brother. It's known. My God, my God. Yes, sir. That's right. Hallelujah. When you lay down in your bed, the foolishness that goes on in your mind, yes, it's known. It's known. My God, some of us are so tired of the foolishness until all we have is filthy dreams. Yes, sir. My God. The Bible warns us about filthy dreams. Yes. So you say you got no business dreaming filthy dreams. No, I know. Really? Help me, help me if you want. Help me, Jesus. Yeah. God. Time for people to get saved. Yes. Time for us all to seek the Lord. Yes. Call upon him. Call upon him. While he's in there. Yes. Yeah. Draw nigh to him. And he'll draw nigh. He'll draw nigh. Humble yourself. Yeah. Out of the mighty hand of God. Yes. And he will exalt you. Yes. In new season. Hallelujah. Call today. He'll resist in the proud. And give him grace. grace. That's all right. That's God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't know what you sing when you ask God, humble me, Lord. Amen. That's yep, hey, Jesus. Do you want God to humble? Yes. He giving you a chance to humble your own self. Yes. yes. But if God has to humble, if it takes breaking you, you feel like it's breaking you in two. That's right. Amen. Do I have any witnesses yet? Amen. When God begins to humble you, it's not a pleasant feeling. No, sir. Whatever it takes, how much pressure it takes, God will put it on you. Yes, he will. Yes, he will Break you down. Yes, will. You can cry, you can groan, you can moan, you can hum, but you ask God to humble you. Yes, Jesus, Jesus. That's all right. My God, my God. Yes, he will. Thank Jesus. Thank the Lord. Thank you. Child, it's time to get saved. Yes, I'm not only speaking to you that never been generated. I'm talking to all of them. But you that don't have any, you that praise God that haven't been baptized in water in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Bible said the day you hear my voice. And I wonder do you all know when you hear the voice of God. When you hear my mouth today, you hear God. 
Then you hear my voice. Hard not your heart. But what? Praise God. The day is the separate day of salvation. Don't let this harvest pass. The harvest to reap salvation. I don't know what's wrong with some of y'all. Some of y'all is tearing, seem like to me tearing hard. But it's something you holding on to. Can I tell you today? You're holding on to something. Daughter, tell us the bird. You're holding on to something, daughter. And you're going to have to turn loose. You all, let me tell you, you're crying, you're hollering, you're jumping, but that don't do it. You got to turn loose. This ain't no play thing. Lord oh, have mercy. People receive the Holy Ghost in the, sitting in the pews. People receive the Holy Ghost while the preacher preaching. And y'all sit and look through the whole message and the altar call and don't see enough. And you tell me you want the Holy Ghost? When y'all want to drink a water, what you do? Sit down and tell them, tell them I want to drink a water. Talk to me. Brother John, you want to drink a water? You sit down there knowing you want water. What you call dehydrating. Won't water you. Can't try to swallow your tongue. For some water. But you want water, you get up and go get it done. Yes, sir. Depending on what type of water you want. If you want some cold, you go in the refrigerator. Uh-huh. Yeah. If you want it cold, you put ice cubes in it. Yes. Come on, children. Yes. You got to want the thing so bad until you crying yes. when you leave here. Yeah. You're crying yeah, while you're sleeping. Yes. You're crying when you get up in the morning. Uh-huh. You're crying all day long. Lord, fill me with the Holy Ghost. I would love to see somebody walk up and say, Lord, I want the Holy Ghost and receive it. Hallelujah. was Sister Glitzer's son, Junior. And them boys have been tired, and they just got tired of tired going back home not getting anything. Amen. And this night they came and said, I ain't going home Amen. until God filled me with the Holy Ghost. Amen. My God just stayed there, praise God, and God filled both of them. Amen. One is still going on, the other not. But I know they received the Holy Ghost. Amen. Huh? When you make up in your mind you want the Holy Ghost, nothing gets in your way. Husband don't get in the way. Wife don't get in the way. Children don't get in the way. I want Jesus. You got to have the Holy Ghost. Sir. If you haven't been baptized in water in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you got to go down. St. John 3, praise God, say, except you be born of the water. And of the spirit. See the water baptism in this pool back here. Yes. Amen. Praise God. I, a, a, a qualified brother can carry you down in the pool. That's your water baptism. Yes. But to get that spiritual baptism, you got to call on Jesus. Yes. Yes. Until you baptize your soul with the Holy Ghost. And you that been baptized Father and Son and Holy Ghost, you got to go back to the water. I'm trying to cut it off here. But you got to go back to the water. Well, I don't see why I have to go back to the water. Get me 19 chapter of Acts. All right, Acts 19 and 1, what does it say? And it came to pass. And it came to pass. Uh huh. Paul, having passed through the upper coast, upper coast, came to Ephesus. Uh huh. And finding certain disciples, finding certain disciples. The word disciples mean followers of Christ. That's right. Now, you're somebody claiming to be Christ's follower and didn't have no Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
and every Holy Ghost preacher is concerned about people receiving the Holy Ghost. Can y'all hear me today? Praise Lord. I'm going to be through in a minute. What else to say? He said unto them. He said unto them. Have you received the Holy Ghost? Have you received the Holy Ghost? My God, you call yourself a believer and don't have no Holy Ghost? Come on now. Right. Let, let's get serious here. Yeah. You don't have no Holy Ghost, haven't smelt no Holy Ghost, don't know nothing about no Holy Ghost, and then you're talking about you following God? Amen. And God is a Holy God? Yeah. And God said, be ye holy as I'm holy? Yeah. And yet you don't have no Holy Ghost, and you say you following God?